Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to learn to create simple computer graphics using BYOB's pen blocks and also a bit more about using procedures and importantly how to make them more flexible. I'm going to start by maximising my window to make best use of the available screen space. I'm also going to get rid of the default sprite Alonso and import from things the drawing pencil. The drawing pencil already has a script which we can see sets the pen size to 5 and forever when the mouse is down goes to the mouse pointer with the pen down. So when I click the green flag this lets me draw with the currently selected colour. But we're not going to use that today so delete that script, clear anything that's there and we'll move the drawing pencil back to the middle. So we're ready to start working. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is create a procedure which lets me draw a square. So I'm going to right click to make a block. It's going to be a pen command block and I'm going to call it square. Now this block is quite simply going to repeat four times. moving 100 steps and turning 90 degrees. I think I'll also put a pen down at the beginning and a pen up at the end. You can now see at the bottom of my pen commands I have a block for square. So let's pull that out and see if it works. And there we are. Now pause the video and create a procedure for each of the shapes that are shown on the notes. A square, a pentagon, a hexagon and so on. When you've done that, come back, restart the video and you'll go on to the next task. Hopefully you now have a range of blocks to draw the shapes that were shown on the notes. You can see mine at the bottom of the pens palette here. Now if I drag out a block to draw a square, that's fine, but what if I wanted to draw a square of a different size? If I edit my procedure, I can see that I could create a second procedure and make it only 50 steps. What I want to do is to create a more flexible procedure that can move any number of steps when it draws each side. And for this, I need to add a variable a variable that the procedure will use. It has a special name called a parameter. And it's easy to add a parameter in BYOB by clicking a plus sign and I'm going to click this one on the right of square. And I'm going to call it side length and click OK. So this is a new variable that will draw a square of side length. And to use it in my procedure, all I have to do is drag a copy of it into where I want to use it. In this case, the move side length steps. We can see the square definition has now changed to square with a box for me to add something. So let's click OK here. I'm going to clear this. And I'm now going to draw a square of side length 100. Let's try that out. Let's change that to 50. 150. So I've created a square procedure that can draw a square of any size. Now pause the video and change your square procedure so that it does the same thing. Now to make things easier, I'll leave the block editor open while you pause the screencast. You should now have a flexible square procedure that can create a square of any side length as shown on the screen here. Now what if we wanted to create a triangle, a pentagon, a hexagon of any side length? Well we could change all of our procedures to accept one of these parameter variables but there's an even better way to do it. We can create a general purpose procedure 
that will allow us to draw a polygon of any number of sides and any side length. Let's see how to do that. If I look at the rule of turn as explained in the notes, I can see that there's a pattern. In every shape we turned a full circle, that's 360 degrees. And the thing we needed to work out was how many degrees we needed to make at each turn. And the way to do that is to divide the total number of degrees turned in the shape by the number of turns taken. So in a square we went round 360 degrees in four turns. In a pentagon we went round 360 degrees in five turns. Well we can incorporate this into a procedure. I'm going to cheat here by editing my square procedure and I can click on the name square and give it a new label. I'm going to call it polygon and I'm going to add an additional parameter and this is going to be turns and to work out how many degrees I have to turn I'm simply going to divide 360 by the number of turns I have to make to draw the shape. Click OK here. Clear what's on the screen. See if I can make a 100 length polygon of four sides. And this should draw a square. If I make it five sides, Hmm, that didn't work. It only seems to have drawn four sides. Now I've made a mistake here, so let's go back, edit my block, and I can see that I'm still only repeating four times. And of course I have to replace that four once again by the number of turns. I'm going to click OK. I'll clear my screen. Make sure the pencil is pointing up the way and move it to the top of the screen. Let's see if that works. It does. Six sides, seven sides, three sides, and lastly back to the square. And there we are. One flexible procedure that lets us draw any regular polygon of any side length simply by introducing two variables, or as we call them in procedures, parameters.